Michelle here and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all. So I have quite a few things to share with you so we might as well just jump in and get started. Alright so I have a little bit of knitting, lots of crochet, you know. So the first one I have is this cowl. It is the Sugar Plum Cowl. And the Sugar Plum is a pattern by Michelle Cruz. I love it. It's so easy to make. It's, it's wonderful. It's a great pattern. And of course, I love the color. I'm telling you, if you can do the garters, the, um, the knit stitch, you can handle this. This is a great, great project. The yarn that I used was, it is the UU Woolly Worsted. Here's the label. And I used two skeins of this. So I used, let's see, where is it? And by the way, this is 100% superwash merino. And each skein was approximately 95 yards, 50 grams. So yeah, two of these made this lovely, lovely cowl. Love the color, because you all know I love my purple. And it fits really well. Something that's really close to the neck. I typically don't like things that are close to the neck, like turtlenecks, but something like this is perfect. So, especially to keep your chest warm. Um, I don't know about where you all live, but North Carolina has finally decided that it is fall. And uh, we had 90 degree weather days all last week. Today, I think we had, it was 72 degrees. So, fall has finally come to North Carolina and I'm very, very excited. I do love spring and fall. They're just wonderful. So, I'm excited to be able to wear it. And for this one, I used my child goo needles. And I used a size 8, which is a 5 millimeter knitting needle. Alright. So, moving along, I have another work in progress. This one I'm very happy about. I used my own hand dyed yarn, Queen's Yarn Boutique, in the colorway Vibranium, and it is in the Delirious DK weight. Here it is. That is just beautiful. And this pattern is my memory. This pattern is the Howla Cow and it is by Katie Peterson. I made this cow with one skein of my hand dyed yarn in the Adore Worsted weight. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. It's just, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. So, it fits really well. Hope you all can see that. And it's just, it's perfect. Because sometimes you don't want a whole lot on your neck. So this covers your chest really well. And you can wear it several different ways. You know, dress it up however you want to. What I like about this cowl is that it's it's smaller in the back and then of course longer in the front. So you have a lot of options. But I've been really wanting to knit and crochet more in my own hand dyed yarn just to be able to have um, samples for craft fairs or fiber festivals and a lot of people ask about this one you know they want to know how it looks when it's worked up but this is vibranium 
Love it. And I used one skein of worsted, which is 218 yards, and I had this much left. And I was kind of playing yarn chicken because I almost was able to make another row. I was literally like maybe less than halfway. I could have made another row, but it's still a really nice size cow. So yeah, love it, love it. All right, so I have more. <laughs> Here is some Knit Crate yarn that I use. As you all know, I am one of their ambassadors. And even though I've been getting their yarn for like over a year now, I've never actually made any of the projects. And I've just kind of been keeping some in mind. So the project that I am making is from their March 2019 book. And I am making, let's see if I can find the pattern. I know it's in here somewhere. Okay, yeah, this is it. The solar nail. That's what I'm making. So I'm excited to make this. I love, love, love the colors. And this is how much I've done so far. So I've gotten pretty far on it. The only thing is I prefer using a bulkier weight yarn and this is fingering weight, almost lace weight, and it's just slow going. And even though it is crochet, I can only imagine if it was knitting, but uh, it just seems like this skein of yarn is never going to end. So this is going to be one of those projects that I'm just going to keep on the go all the time. And, well not hopefully all the time, but you know, it'll probably take me quite a while to finish it. And the name of this yarn is, let's see, I know it's in here. Okay, so it's called The Time to Shine. And it is their um, blend of merino wool, silk, and cashmere. So it's definitely a luxurious yarn, wool, silk, and cash cashmere. And uh, it's 400 yards per skein. So that's what the yarn looks like. And so if you're interested and uh, you haven't tried Knit Crate yet, if you want 20% off of your first order, you can use coupon code Queen 20. Yeah, I'll put it here. But anyway, I think it's going to be fantastic. All right. One more whip. Now, I would drop my ball of yarn as I'm about to show it to you. Typical me. Okay. So, I am making the adult crochet sweater by Bob Wilson123. And as you all know, I made one of those sweaters a long, long time ago. Uh, I made one of the Bob Wilson123 crochet sweaters and I absolutely love it. That one I made in a worsted weight and it was a little baggy on me, but it, it felt great. I love it. I still wear it all the time. So I decided this time around, I'm going to use a DK weight yarn. And so, this is what I have done so far. I was hoping that I, well, I wanted to at least bend to the part where you split the sleeves. Because um, there's really not much to show right now. But, eventually, I will be splitting the sleeves. So, this is what I have so far. And this is the yarn that I'm using. And I don't have the label with me but I will put that here what type of yarn this is I believe it's universal yarn it's a really nice um, like a coral color and for this 
and we're using a G-hook. All right, so those are all of the whips and uh, finished projects and knitting and crocheting that I've been doing. I hope you all have been able to carve out some time to knit and crochet as well. I know that we're all super busy and sometimes it's really hard to do that. But uh, as you can see, I have a lot going on. So hopefully I'll finish up some of these whips. I usually don't have a lot of whips going on at one time, but as I was making this one, I just felt the need for a bulkier yarn. And so I ended up, I started this first and I ended up making this one as well. And with me, sometimes I like to have a long-term project and a short-term project going on at the same time, just so I can finish something. All right, so now I'm gonna show um, what I got for myself. As you all know, I was vending at the Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival in Berryville, Virginia. It was amazing. It was my first time there. My husband and I, <clears throat> excuse me, my husband and I had a booth there and it was organized so well. I met so many people. Uh, I was definitely having like some fangirl moments with some of the um, other dyers that I met. It was fantastic. But I have to say my favorite part was getting to meet some of you in person and it was just so, 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 so wonderful. And it's amazing how you, you're kind of, like you know people through YouTube and you interact with them through Instagram, but you only really know each other through your Instagram names. Um, I got to meet so many people that followed me on Instagram and are subscribed to me on YouTube and just that was the best part of the trip is getting to meet you all i mean it was it was incredible i cannot wait to go again next year it was absolutely wonderful i can't say enough good things about the festival and while we were there we drove over to west virginia and looked around at the countryside a little bit and uh we were about two hours south of maryland so maybe next time we'll have to make a vacation out of it and, and go into maryland but it was just so wonderful to meet people that I only have known or interacted with through social media and then meet them in person. It was just, it was so, 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 so cool. And so if you were one of those people, thank you so, so, so much for coming by my booth and uh, stopping by and saying hello. And yeah, it, it was just great. You know, um, I love what I do, but you know, sometimes you just kind of, you, you need like a little bit of validation, you know, like are people, do people really like my my stuff? Do people really like my yarn? Do people um, really like my channel? And you know, you meet people that are excited to, to uh, finally meet you. It's just, it's wonderful. It really, really is wonderful. Well, while I was there, um, I did buy myself a couple of things, which is unusual for me because usually I am, too busy with customers in the booth or maybe my booth is just somewhere where I can't really get out and talk to other yarn dyers. This was the first festival where I was actually able to leave the booth, walk around and still be able to look at my booth just in case, you know, someone um, was coming up or if my husband needed help with the transactions or something. So I did venture out a little bit. I had the pleasure of being right across from Hobby Du Hoy Yarn and uh, she and her mother, which also dyes yarn, uh, she was out there. And this is their last festival, or that was their last festival. They're retiring from dyeing yarn and so of course I had to get something and I was over there looking at her booth all day long for two days so I finally made my way over there and got myself a little something. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? There's definitely a purple thing going on but isn't it always with me? Look at that. Gorgeous. And so some of my newer 
subscribers or viewers may wonder, well, you know, what are you doing getting fiber? Well, I think it's been about a year, probably two years, I bought a drop spindle and I was, I had gotten some blue face luster um, fiber and I had spun with that a little bit, but I kind of got out of the habit of it and I hadn't really dropped, I hadn't really picked up my drop spindle in quite a while, but I am inspired. I am so inspired to pick it up again and I got this beautiful, beautiful, it's, oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's a, a hand painted top, merino wool, bamboo, and tussa silk. So it's luxurious. 50% merino wool, 25% bamboo, and 25% tussa silk. And this is four ounces of yarn. It's wonderful. Like I said, she is retiring from dyeing yarn. I think she, her and her mother are retiring from it. So I think she may have a few things left, but, um, I'm not quite sure how long she's going to have her shop open, but this yarn is so, this yarn, this fiber is so soft and, um, yeah, it was fantastic. And I just remembered, I also got some bumper stickers from her son, so I'll be right back with those. So, while I was up, I decided, let me go ahead and get my sweater that I had made. Uh, some of the older viewers will notice this sweater, but this is the sweater, the Bob Wilson 123 adult crochet sweater that I had made. And of course it's purple. But uh, this will just give you a preview of what this one of what this one's going to look like so of course i can't get it all in the frame but it's long sleeves so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to having another one of these sweaters because it's fantastic and this was made with hobby lobby i love this yarn which is of course a worsted weight yarn but uh, I'm trying DK this time, so we'll see what happens. All right, now to um, trying to look up her first name because I keep <laughs> I keep referring to her as Hobbadoy, but you all know who I'm talking about. Her her son was there, and he was out front selling. Uh, selling bumper stickers and he was just so adorable so I was like well let me just get one of each but anyway I thought this would be a fun way to end uh, today's video so the first sticker I have is this one so this one says armed with pointy sticks and I know how to use them Friends don't let friends knit drunk. <laughs> I would certainly hope not. Oh, we like this one. Stay alive, don't knit and drive. Yeah, not a good idea. This was a personal favorite. I knit so I don't kill people. Oh yeah. I knit so no one has to die. <laughs> And I think this one actually might be my favorite. Knit happens, because it does. You ever drop a stitch? Oh yeah, knit happens. So that was a really, really, really cute. Uh, I just had such a great time at that festival. But speaking of festivals, I do wanna let you all know that I will be vending at the Peace Hill Farm Craft and Fiber Festival, uh, Saturday, November the 2nd. And I believe it's from nine to five. Let me just double check. Yes, it's from nine to five and it is in Charles City, Virginia. And like I said, it is November the 2nd. So definitely come check out my booth. I would love to have you uh, come by. I would love to meet you. So yeah, so I have that looking forward to, or have that to look forward to. And uh, that'll be my last Fiber Festival of the year. So 
once again, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really, really, really do. Thank you again, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye.